Yesterday's stunning 24-21 loss at South Dakota not only ended South Dakota State's 10-game series winning streak against their arch rivals, it also seemed to destroy any hope they had of getting a top eight seed and bye week into the second round of the FCS playoffs. With that in mind, the Jackrabbits gathered at Dana J. Dykow Stadium this morning, fully expecting that they would have to play on Thanksgiving weekend for the first time since 2015. Now let's go five through eight. Show you these teams again. These are teams that are going to have uh, no games on Thanksgiving weekend. Nice little first round by, and there we see them. And to the surprise of almost everyone, South Dakota State does indeed get a seed. In fact, it's the seventh overall one in the FCS playoffs, getting a home game and bye into the second round on Saturday, December 7th. Perhaps it was the number of wins over playoff teams or teams in playoff consideration, or the fact they become a staple of the postseason, this their eighth straight trip and fourth straight seed. Whatever the reason or rationale, the Jacks are just happy they'll get to head home for the holiday and get a much needed bye week. I don't think anyone really expected it. We knew that there were some other losses in the top eight seeds and everything like that. So um, it was definitely a surprise, a good feeling, obviously. You know, I thought we had a chance, but I thought it was less than 50%. And then when it popped up, uh, I got emotional. I loved the way our players uh, embraced it and, 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 and felt about it. I think there's a lot of guys that are thankful for um, a week off, get our bodies back, um, get to play here again. Um, and I think it's just kind of what they said. The respect that the program has now um, with a few disappointing losses at the end of the season but still getting that first round by it's huge for our program. After all that craziness South Dakota State waited to see the rest of the bracket be unveiled to see who their potential second round opponent could be and the Jacks will face the winner of Saturday's first round game between San Diego and Northern Iowa in Cedar Falls. If the Panthers win it's a rematch of this game two weeks ago though the Jacks did beat UNI 38-7 the game was close until the fourth quarter when SDSU scored 21 unanswered points. Now SDSU also beat UNI two years ago in the second round of the playoffs in Brookings, but don't overlook San Diego. Though the other USD is non-scholarship, they've won two of their last three first round playoff games. The Jacks once again host the winner of that San Diego UNI game on December 7th. Kickoff time to be announced, we'll have plenty more as the date draws nearer.